is reportedly set to open its AMCA program to international collaboration after the jet's first flight, aiming to create an export-ready fifth-gen stealth fighter while sharing development costs. A U.S. military C-17 reportedly deported 104 Indians to Amritsar, marking the first use of such a flight for deportations, with more potential repatriations expected as per government sources. Fails to showcase cutting-edge defense tech, including radar, AI solutions and drone countermeasures, at Aero India 2025, highlighting support for India's Make in India initiative and defense modernization. Images of a massive X-shaped building in China suggest a major nuclear fusion research facility, potentially signaling China's rapid advancements in fusion energy and nuclear weapons development, analysts warn. At the 267th Corps Commanders Conference, Chief of Army Staff General Munir condemned attempts to radicalize Baloch youth and criticized Indian military remarks, reaffirming Pakistan Army's commitment to national security and sovereignty. Rolls-Royce has proposed a partnership with India for the AMCA program, offering to co-develop the engine with a full transfer of intellectual property rights. This offer would grant India control over the critical engine technology, allowing for future upgrades and exports. Rolls-Royce emphasized that the focus would be on knowledge transfer and developing indigenous capabilities, rather than just production. The company aims to collaborate with India's DRDO and other local entities, to enhance India's aerospace expertise and manufacturing. The UK government has strongly supported the partnership, recognizing its strategic importance in strengthening defense relations between India and the UK. This collaboration would provide India access to advanced propulsion technologies vital for the AMCA project. The proposal also promises to create jobs, boost India's defense exports, and enhance national security. Rolls-Royce's EJ200 engine, used in the Eurofighter Typhoon, exemplifies advanced technology with a high thrust-to-weight ratio and modular design, ensuring operational efficiency. While Rolls-Royce faces competition from Safran, which also offers full technology transfer, the final decision will significantly impact India's aerospace industry and its defense export goals. India's Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, announced that the indigenous light combat aircraft Tejas has one of the smallest radar cross-sections, or RCS in its class, a result of its extensive use of composite materials. Although stealth was not a primary design goal, the Tejas's structure inadvertently provides significant stealth capabilities, outperforming similar aircraft. The DRDO reported that 45% of the Tejas's airframe weight is made from composites, much higher than other contemporary fighters. Additionally, 90% of its external surface is composed of composites, which reduce its radar signature and enhance its evasion abilities. This design also contributes to the aircraft's light weight, improving fuel efficiency, range, maneuverability, and corrosion resistance, while reducing maintenance needs and extending service life. The DRDO's expertise in composites has not only benefited the Tejas, but also paved the way for future defense projects. This achievement underscores India's growing aerospace capabilities and its commitment to self-reliance in defense manufacturing, with the Tejas serving as an example of how innovative composite use can enhance both stealth and overall aircraft performance. Russia plans to showcase its advanced fighter jets at Aero India 2025, including the Su-57E, the export version of its fifth-generation stealth fighter. The Su-57E will not only be displayed, but also demonstrate its capabilities in flight. Russia will also present a static prototype of the Su-75 Checkmate, a single-engine fifth-generation fighter still in development. While not flight-ready, it will provide a detailed look at its design. In a strategic move to target the Indian market, Russia has proposed setting up a production line for the Su-75 in India, aligning with the Make in India initiative. This would involve technology transfer and local manufacturing, potentially boosting the Indian Air Force's capabilities and supporting India's defense export goals. Russia views India as a key customer, 
and the Su-75 is also being marketed to other countries. However, the aircraft faces development challenges, including delays and technical issues. Its success will depend on overcoming these hurdles and performing well in trials. With competition from other fifth-generation fighters like the F-35 and J-20, Russia must emphasize the Su-75's advantages, such as lower cost and easier maintenance. India's own AMCA program could influence the decision, though local production of the Su-75 may be appealing. Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif emphasized Pakistan's desire to resolve all issues, including Kashmir, through dialogue with India, reiterating his strong support for the Kashmiri people. He made these comments during a special session of the Pakistan-occupied Kashmir Legislative Assembly on Kashmir Solidarity Day, an annual event to express support for Kashmir. Sharif called on India to move past its actions on August 5, 2019, when Article 370 was revoked and urged India to engage in dialogue as promised by the United Nations. Sharif highlighted that dialogue was the only way forward for both countries, referencing the 1999 Lahore Declaration between Pakistan and India. While India has expressed interest in normal relations free of terrorism and violence, it maintains that Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh are integral parts of India. Tensions between the countries escalated after India's constitutional changes to Jammu and Kashmir. Sharif also criticized India for increasing its weapons stockpile, arguing that it would not bring peace, and urged India to pursue peace for regional progress. He reaffirmed Pakistan's moral, diplomatic, and political support for the Kashmiri people's right to self-determination under the UN Security Council resolution. Both Sharif and former President Asif Ali Zardari urged the international community to pressure India for the Kashmiri people's right to determine their future. PAC officials also reiterated Pakistan's commitment to Kashmir's resolution for lasting peace. Chinese state media recently unveiled footage of an advanced long-range radar system capable of detecting missiles, including hypersonic ones, from thousands of miles away. The radar, part of China's growing early warning network, was showcased in a video during President Xi Jinping's Lunar New Year address to the military. The radar, located in Heilongjiang province, is a significant asset in China's missile defense efforts, with analysts suggesting it plays a critical role in detecting threats and providing early warnings for countermeasures. The radar, identified as a strategic active phased array system, is capable of tracking missile threats within several thousand kilometers. It is integrated into China's broader anti-missile defense network, using X-band and P-band radar technologies to intercept and track targets. The Jiamu Sea Station, a key node in this network, underwent upgrades and was completed in 2021. China's phased array radar technology, developed since the 1970s, offers faster scanning and greater accuracy compared to traditional radar. While details remain classified, this radar system signals a significant advancement in China's missile defense capabilities. The PLA's increased focus on long-range early warning systems, along with advanced missile defense like the HQ-19, underscores China's growing military power and its strategic push for enhanced national security and deterrence. That's all from YKS team for now. If you like the information, then please do share and give a like. You can also become our channel member and support our work. Thanks for watching.